Radio guys, Micro Sim Racing 604. Welcome back to Automobilista 2. We are here at Imola on board the Cadillac V Series R, part of the hypercar class here in oh, AMS 2. And we are going to race one hour, right but uh, 5x speed right. here at Imola to kind of emulate the six oh, hours of Im back. Imola that ran last weekend. I shouldn't try and say emulate and Im Imola in the same sentence. As you can see, it fails miserably. So we're in the hypercar class here. We've also got GT3s out here with us. And uh, this is what I wanted to do in uh, my last Le Mans Ultimate video. Problem of course, Le Mans Ultimate does not have Imola, nor does it have GT3. So my sort of need to play make-believe based on watching these six hours of Imola was not uh, quenched. My thirst for Imola endurance action was not quenched using Le Mans Ultimate, but we can do it here in AMS 2. So again, running one hour here, mandatory pit stop. We should catch up to the GT3 somewhere around lap eight. And uh, right now I've got hypercars breathing down my neck here. AI level is set to 100, which for me is uh, right about where my uh, skill set lands me, especially with a default setup like we've got here on board this Cadillac. So we'll see how we get on. I think uh, probably I'll just be trying to keep pace for the first few laps and then when we catch up to the GT3s, there should be a shakeup in the field. And then again, when we pit, uh, things should get interesting again. So coming to the end of the first lap, my race pace here, in case you're wondering, somewhere in the one minute 34 range, probably by the end of the race, by the time everything is fully rubbered in and the fuel load is a little bit lighter I might get into the 33s so nothing special on my pace here just trying to be consistent it's an endurance race or a mini endurance race so consistency is perhaps equally important to uh, overall pace right now it looks like the two hypercars in front of me the BMW and the Porsche starting to fall back from the cars in front so we'll see what happens with that. Like I said, I'm just trying to, as much as possible, keep pace here. This will also be one of the longer tests of my motion sim. I don't often run one hour races with motion turned on. No specific reason, I just don't usually do it. So uh, we'll see how that lands. All right, so the AI seems a lot faster through that chicane than I am. And that's where I am dropping speed. So I started 7th, and I have dropped to 8th position, it's tolerable, but I think we're only, have a look at the timing here in a second, yeah we're only 4.5 seconds off the lead, so nothing too bad, I do expect that number to increase, but we'll just do our best here to try and uh, keep even. These two battling it out could work to our advantage here, or my advantage rather. Oh, a little hot there into the corner. So, uh, I've done a couple of AMS2 videos recently. Uh, the stock cars I really enjoyed. I tried it uh, with mixed weather, and uh, the AI kind of, yeah. I don't know, I was happy, I enjoyed the race overall, but their AI did lose pace dramatically toward the end of that race as the track started to dry. And before that, I was, uh, where was I? Interlagos in the Formula One cars, or Formula Ultimate Gen 2, if you wish. And I was unhappy with the, um, with the tire wear levels in that car. So we'll see how we get on with these hyper cars. I wouldn't say I've been disappointed with AMS 2, but uh, yeah, just the two car classes I've tried. Uh, it's been kind of a mixed bag. I think the, uh, the Formula Ultimate Gen 2s, feel better right now than they ever have throughout the uh, several year history of this title. Uh, but again, the tire wear I just straight up don't agree with. And then the stock car 2024 cars, I think are one of the best classes on offer in this title. Uh, but uh, yeah, it kind of went to a funky place once we introduced weather toward the end of that race anyway. Still, I enjoyed it, but uh, yeah, I just didn't necessarily agree with uh, the AI pace after the track started to dry. But that is in the past now. And the present is me being just uh, under a second back 
of these two uh, hypercars here and not losing any pace which is good <laughs> thus far no overtake opportunity has presented itself but we're only five minutes into this race I'm gonna basically try and pit somewhere around the 35 to 40 minute mark and something I got to keep an eye on is my electrical stores right now I know you can't see it it's behind my big dumb face but it's sitting at about 60 65 percent I would guess still in attack mode that's the reason I'm able to keep pace here but uh, I'm gonna switch the balance pretty soon and try and uh, not deplete that too much so yeah it's a shame that we don't have this in Le Mans Ultimate I know Le Mans Ultimate has its detractors so far I really like it I enjoy my time in that title uh, but again with it being based on the 2023 season no GT3 cars and no Imola be curious to see how they roll out the 2024 season. I'm assuming it'll be a base game uh, level of content. They'll just split it 2023-2024. I uh, hope it's not DLC. That just seems unfair to me. And uh, for timing, I have no idea what they're going to do about timing. Because obviously we're in the midst of the 2024 season. And it would be nice to have it right now. Any way you slice it, it's going to be late. He's on your right. Oh, that was close. Almost had it there. Was almost able to sneak a nose up the inside on that corner. So I'm having some luck keeping pace here. So I'm going to go ahead and dial my store or my deploy back to balanced mode. Hopefully, it doesn't drop my pace too much. And yeah, just uh, under, just over seven minutes gone here. So I'm guessing it's going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of 40 laps by the time everything is said and done, assuming no yellow flags. One length behind. Two lengths Five and a half seconds now. The pay or the gap to the leader. Half length behind. So by switching to balance, I've <laughs> given up uh, a bit of pace here. You can see me falling a little bit back of the car ahead, car behind, catching right up. But I pulled right up to the back bumper of this car in front of me under braking there. So that's one thing that will not be overly affected by my deploy rate, of course. Although I don't know if the regen is affected. Could be some effects on braking, I'm not actually sure. If you know, leave it in the comments. Seems the BMW behind me is hungry for the overtake. I'm not sure how much of that is coming through on your screen. But he is giving me all kinds of grief. In my rear view mirror. Right side. Had to go for it. Will I be able to pull it off? You're all clear. Good. Up into seventh place or back into seventh place. Gap to leader, holding steady. Five and a half seconds. One length behind. Tires are looking good. Tiniest bit of wear on the front tires, but nothing we can't manage. Just got to make sure I don't lock up, of course. Yeah, and I'm so slow out of that chicane compared to the AI. By the way, I'm going to keep having to reset my keyboard and mouse on that tray to my left throughout the race, like a typewriter almost. Because the motion does hold the potential to shake it right off. Oh boy, I gotta go back into attack mode. This is not looking good. This BMW just will not let up. You can see that interesting gear ratio in this car. Third gear is very long, sixth gear is extremely short. I'm not sure, I don't think the gear ratios are adjustable on this car, but I could be wrong. Um, 
yeah so it's just kind of interesting on the default setup here You've got one, two legs back. six gear i'm sure you can skip right through it and just go to seventh gear and get effectively the same performance So yeah, as soon as I go to attack mode, I'm able to keep pace with the AI. But I'm not going to be able to sustain that for the full length of the race. So I got to be mindful of where I use it. Or even how I use it. This is where it tends to really show. Yep. Thanks to the concertina effect, the BMW pulls right up on my bumper, which scares me, and then it drops back as we accelerate out of the corner. Same thing is happening in front of me as well. Tend to pull quite close entering the chicane, and then drop back as soon as we leave the corner. One leg behind. Two legs behind. All right, gonna try a bit of later braking here. Seem to work out generally. One leg behind. Although I just cannot seem to shake this car behind. Half leg back. Ah, uh, way too far back. That ended up just being for show and slowing my pace a bit. So this is lap eight already, wow. So we should be caught up to these GT3s fairly soon. I thought it would be this lap, but maybe it'll be lap nine. Fortunately, I don't have a map on screen to see where the competition is on the track. And eight seconds now, the gap to the lead, so pretty sizable. One leg back. Half leg back. One leg back. He's two Come legs on, Mike. Back. All right, we're going to attack mode. We're going to try and get this overtake done here on this lap. Going there. Uh, here we've caught up to the GT3s, so I might as well dial back my attack mode. No way I was going for that. Let's see how hypercars are able to get through under blue flag. See if it slows things at all. Kind of an awkward corner here. Oh, come on. Come on. I'm going to lose the position here. Three wide. Keep it steady. One left. Car on my left. You guys can't see it, but it's right there. Still there. And that okay. is the BMW that was following me that whole time. But it's not necessarily a bad thing because we know we got better pace. But it does appear the blue flag behavior is kind of a mess here at Imola. Like that scenario we just went through and this. What is this? Go, 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 go. Nice, you're clear. Two wide, right side. Yeah, the, uh, hi whoa, 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 whoa. The hypercars just seem to lag when they're accelerating away from an overtake. Like, look at this Porsche here. Why is it not blazing off into the distance? Why am I able to pass it that easy? Left side. Nice one. You're clear. Half left back. Watch your line. So uh, yeah, Still lots of work there. to be done, Reza. And one leg behind. This is not how blue flags should look. But that's all right. Still enjoying myself. Oh yeah, uh, come on. 
Like, right it just side. makes it way too easy to do stuff right like that. Side. AI just can't seem to figure out how to get by the slower cars. Where am I now? Third place, so that means first and second are visible in front of me. I seem to be slower than them. So we'll see what happens here. We'll see what shakes out. Pit stop still probably 20 minutes away. Half length back. Still half back. One Don't you do back. it. Oh, oh, oh. Half length behind. Locked up there. Watch your there it is. He saw that puff of smoke in front. That was the hypercar running off track to try and get by that Mercedes. Car right. You good. You clear. But yeah, it kind of spoils the race, frankly. Left side. All right, just one to beat, and presumably he's going to get hung up in this traffic here, so I should be able to get the lead. Oh, Yeah, that's not how things are supposed to go. So how much damage did I take there? I don't know. But I do have the outright lead in this race at this time. We'll see if I sustain any damage. Don't have the right HUD up to check that. Front left tire took some damage there. Porsche going up the inside here. This is a sprint up the hill, or Cadillac rather. Still there. Still there. Still there. I'm going to let him have that. Live to fight another day. Now the question is, are there more GT3s to overtake? And if so, how is that going to go? Yes, there are. Track showing blue flag with those fellas. Are right, going to dial it up to attack here? Oh, that's qualified. Let's see if we can get the overtake done on the caddy here. The lead caddy. On the left side. Far too easy. Okay, or here. maybe not. They've fallen in behind me. I can see them in my rear view mirror. They're right there. One leg back. Half leg behind. Gotta watch out for this slow GT3. Left side. Left. Three wide. Hold your line. He's cleared you. Tight, tight racing action here. All right, so I'll drop back into third position. And more GT3s to come. GT3 field spread out quite a lot. I don't think the hypercars are spread out that much. McLaren 720S, looking gorgeous here. One of the best looking race cars of this generation, I would say. Right side. Yeah, see, that's unfortunate. Whoa, did somebody go off there? Looks like it. Half leg behind. So yeah, these tires, my front left is starting to show some pretty significant wear. So they are going to be ready for the refresh whenever I head into the pits, which I still haven't decided. Probably a little bit beyond the midway point of this race. Thus far, only a third of the way through the race. So I'm wondering if I can hold this lead on outright pace. Let's see, because it did appear the hypercars were faster than me before we ran into this traffic. Watch right. You've got a car right. But there's just like okay. this You'll endless be. well of GT3 cars. I guess there's some 20 GT3 cars because I think we started with 32 cars in the field, 31 AI cars and myself, 
And uh, I think there was only 12, 13 in class for hypercars. So yeah, 20-ish GT3 cars to overtake here. Back to balanced. And I'm not pulling a huge gap here, less than a second to the car behind. So again, I don't think the drama is entirely done. Two lengths behind. Within the hypercar class, half a second now. So yeah, I am not faster on pace. So they will likely be battling me for an overtake very soon. So there may yet be drama in this race. One length behind. Half length back. Two lengths back. And I really, really, really want to get this overtake done before we reach this He's corner. Push, 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 push. Fuse. Half behind. That's not where you want to run into a GT3 car through that first uh, chicane there. And again, would be nice to get this one done. One right. You're clear. Oh, I am so lucky for timing here. Should allow me to open up this gap a little bit. Yeah, two seconds now the gap. Whoa! No gap between my tires and the grass though, that's for sure. That one felt pretty scary. Wow, look at the gap now. The AI has made up one full second in just a few corners. So I am definitely not the fastest of the day. <laughs> He's right there. He is all over me. Oh, a little tap on the rear. Sprint to the finish line here. He's got the inside line though. Still on your left. So I likely will have to surrender this position. Still left. Indeed. He's clear. Alright. So yet more drama to go. Blue flag for this Porsche. Oh, that Manti livery. Car on your leg. Dangerous overtakes. All right, let's see if we can keep pace with the leader, who evidently has the best pace, far better than my own. And the uh, flag's still showing blue here. Could be for the cars behind us, I suppose. And those flags, those electronic flags, interestingly show SC for safety car when it flies. It's pretty cool. I think Razor's done a nice job with modernizing their tracks, circuits, call it what you will. All right, let's go. Let's go. This should be a good indicator of pace. Starting the lap about 0.9 seconds back. Don't have all my front tire grip, but still pretty good. On pace for my best. I'm 
Ah. Awkward exit on the corner. One point two, so I've lost about point three seconds here. But as you can see by my timing relative to my best lap, I'm having a good lap for me. It's just not a good lap for uh, compared to the rest of the field. See if I can reset my own personal vest here. There we go. So still nothing to really set the world alight. However, good to see that you're seeing the best of me. I actually think this might be a decent finish to this race. Depending on what happens with uh, the pit stop, depending on how we uh, form up after that pit stop. Could be fighting for the lead. I'm assuming this is the last place GT3 and we are once again amidst the field of GT3 cars. So I think it was about lap 9 when we hit the, the GT3 cars the first time, so we've effectively gone twice that. So yeah, this should be the second time we're lapping these GT3s. And yeah, I'm not falling too far back of this hypercar. Holding steady in second place. If you're wondering about my fuel, got about 28 and a half liters left after starting with 85. So if you do this race for yourself on this Cadillac and drive at a similar pace and aggression to me, you can figure about 60 liters to go half distance here, 60 liters per half hour. He's not shaking me, but I'm also not really any threat to him. Perfectly matched AI, it seems. Tire wear is holding steady. How much of a gap do I have? Three seconds behind me. So that makes me feel good. I gotta start thinking about my pit stop. I'm not gonna go in yet. So I got plenty of fuel and the tires are looking pretty good. All right, just had to test my uh, pit limiter there. Made sure I had a button mapped. Oh, okay, first of the hypercars has gone into the pits. I think I'm gonna go long. I'm gonna stay out for a few more laps. Again, not really sensing any urgency. Car's not telling me I need to pit. Could I be a little bit faster? Sure. But, uh, you know, I am up on my PB, and that was with hitting the pit limiter, so I uh, think I'm doing okay here. Oh, full course yellow, full course yellow. Okay, so this is going to be a free pit stop for me. Excellent news. All right. So follow Pipo. And let's see if the AI takes advantage. I'm curious to see... 
if the AI goes into the pit as well. And we were just catching up to the back of the GT3s, but that will no longer be necessary to overtake. GT3s will be allowed to rejoin the pack. All right, let's see. Yep, they're going in, all right. There we go, safety car flags. Where is my pit? Oh, there, okay. Well, couldn't see you, sorry fellas. All right, fuel, tires. And uh, I did have that incident, so we'll see how long it takes to repair. Come on, fuel. Come on, fuel. Repair is quick. All right, so very difficult to say where we're gonna land. Oh, we are overlapping with another car. See if he backs off. My rig shaking violently with that pit limiter engaged. Clear. Get him off left back. Watch your line. Okay, so I see the yellow marker there. That's who I got to catch up to. And I'm assuming the cars in front of me did in fact not pit. This is great. Should allow us to get some heat into the tire. Well, no, we'll lose the heat, won't we? So yeah, the pit timing was decided for me. Racing will resume at the end of this lap, so I need to catch that pack. So this might work out swimmingly for me. Again, you see those safety car flags? I think that's really cool. Well done, Reza. we go oh, yes I think this is going to work out really really well for me this is the Lewis Hamilton 2019 luck go green flag all right so we are six seconds off the lead and I do believe up a pit stop on the five in front of us or sorry the four cars in front of us Uh, a little bit of early chaos here. Trying to weave our way through these GT3s. Look out there, BMW. Oh, tight, tight, tight. Going around the outside, Buffalo Girls. Nice one, you're clear. On your right. You good, you're clear. On your left. On the left side. Oh, I thought I had one. Clear. AI thought better of it. Seems like the AI is getting a bit better at overtaking here. I don't know what's going on, I don't know what the difference was. But they seem to uh, make their way through the field a little bit better this time around. 25 minutes-ish to go. I gotta finish with too much fuel here, I believe. So no way to tell who is pitted and who... Okay. 
car into the pit so i am up into a podium position here not sure if car one and car two have pitted already All right, just had to look over, make sure my cameras are still recording. This one's been going on a while. Got one, two <laughs> back. Been a minute since I've done a video this long. So yeah, we are only four seconds back. I can't see the lead car. Yeah, I know. Oh boy, this is terrible timing. Right side. One leg back. Half leg. Porsche. On my butt. Back it up, sir. Back it up. One leg behind. Half leg back. A little love tap there. Oh, another one. On oh, the oh. Two wide, sprinting side. down the start finish straight here. Clear Attack mode engaged. One leg back. He's two legs back. Still two legs back. Pretty hot into this corner. Woof. Half leg behind. Two legs behind you. One leg back. Come on, Mike. Come on. We can do this. 22 more Two minutes. We got behind. this. My mind and my body starting to feel a bit aware here. Concentration is low. Just got back from an epic One dog walk. Behind. Any driving spring rain, so I'm a little winded, ready for a nap. Still there. That's an old man thing to say if I ever heard fun. Just pretend like I didn't just say that uh, I'm so old that a hike with my dog in the rain makes me want to take a nap. That never was said. Two legs behind you. Uh, I am not gaining even the slightest bit of ground on this guy. Same thing. We're going to be in a sprint down the start finish straight here again. I just cannot seem to pull a gap. Oh, and look at the gap now to the leader. 7.6 seconds. Wow. One leg back. Behind. There's the leader. Boy, I'm going to be very lucky to hold on to a podium position here. I don't know how I'm going to make that happen, but that'll be my goal. And uh, I think the GT3s should have probably had a chance to kind of queue up behind the hypercars. We saw that some didn't, but some might have, so I don't know when we'll run into a big cluster of GT3s and cause kind of an overtaking uh, shake-up of the field. We'll see if and when that happens. Oh, lock up, lock up with the tires. Oh, just took a few percentage points out of the uh, life of the front right tire there. Still there. Not too bad though. You've got one two legs back. <laughs> Alright, it Half looks like the car in front of me has caught up to some GT3, so we might see some overtaking still action there. on this lap. Hopefully it's not me. But gets overtaken. Okay, so we've cut eight seconds down. 
to five. Thank you, GT3s. One leg back. All right, guys, need you to behave here One and let me through as soon as possible. You're all clear. Got a race to win here, Porsche. Or rather, a podium to hold on to by the thinnest of threads. bit of breathing room behind me now for once which feels good nice change from the past several minutes under four seconds now to the leader over four seconds now to the leader whoa what happened there BMW So we had time at 5x and it's definitely starting to look like late afternoon here in Italy. Time progression in this title, just so good. Such an amazing boost to the immersion. So let's see here. All right, so four seconds to the car behind. That is great. All right, I think if I can get this overtake done safely, I think it's time to dial it up to attack. See if we can't close this gap. Two lengths behind. A win would be incredible. I don't think it's possible, but let's go full attack for the rest of the race and see what we can do here. Three and a half seconds is not too bad, or under four anyway. Interesting time for a pit stop there, 17 minutes to go. Brave move there, GT3. New fastest lap for me. I don't think it's the fastest of the race, but personal best anyway. slow down by a tenth here but it feels like we're reeling in that car in fact we are reeling in the car ahead slowly but surely just try to be consistent not necessarily fast but consistent not lost my keyboard or mouse go ahead and reset those bad boys maybe that'll get me to the end of the race oh a little wide there this is looking great Because I think I'm going to catch that GT3 at a bad time here. Need to get this done, need to get this done. Half length back, watch your line. Still 
bit. Good. Lost a few tenths there on that overtake. Nothing too major. Two and a half seconds now the gap to the leader. <laughs> a little hot through that section. Oh, this is working in my favor brilliantly. You're going to catch a, a car and overtake it. Might as well be in the slowest point of the entire circuit. And am I close enough? for a slipstream here? I don't think so, but we're getting there. One point three seconds. Dead even with my fastest lap there. How's that for consistency? There we go, reclaim the lead. One In the most behind. sketch way possible. Porsche right on my bumper. Now the He's question, can I hold on to this lead for the remainder of the race? We have 13 minutes to go. Need to be consistent, need to get some uh, Timing right with the overtakes of GT3s. Need to monitor my tire wear. Most importantly, need to pick up the pace. I am not pulling any sort of decent gap to the car behind. What are you doing, Porsche? Half length behind. Porsche was lateral across the racetrack there. Glad that didn't throw a full course yellow, actually, because the timing would be really awkward. It's pretty much the worst thing that could happen now is a full course yellow. Okay, come on, 720. You are going to ruin my race if you do not pick it up. Left side. Porsche snuck through as well. He's still on my bumper. Oh, what's going on there with the McLaren? Two lengths behind. Half length behind. Point six seconds. We got to second place. So this, in all likelihood, it's going to be a fight all the way to the end. I just want to not have any incidents here. Back. Manage my tire wear. He's two legs behind. Manage my pace. One length behind. Half length back. Watch your line. I don't love how this back. is shaping up. Yeah, I was right. This is horrendous. Right side. You're clear. Stuck through without incident. Got a slipstream there. That one I was coming in a lot hotter to that corner than I had been in previous laps. Thank you, GT3s. <laughs> Shadow's getting a bit long. Just a reminder, it's 5x time, so this one hour. Starting at 1 p.m. was actually five hours. So 1 to 6 p.m. You're clear. 
is the rough race time. Okay, so five seconds now. So, yeah, it looks like those uh, overtakes of the GT3s coming back to haunt the AI. He's two legs back. So I just got to be smart about this. Lots of fuel. I'm gonna dial my deploy back here. Nine minutes now, so we're at lap 31, so we'll probably finish on about lap 37, I would guess. <laughs> Way too hot into that corner. Puff of smoke came up in my rear view. And took a little bit more life out of that front right tire. That poor tire's had a tough race. Because it's pilot. Doesn't know how to manage braking zones. Yeah, seven and a half seconds. So, you know, like, I'm just thinking more about this blue flag behavior, and it's like, it's far from perfect. It got better throughout the race. That's good, but it's far from perfect. There still seems to be this lag that even when the faster car, the faster AI car, um, has an open line and should be accelerating away from the overtake, they just kind of hang back. I don't know what's going on with that. Some sort of bugs, perhaps in the programming of the AI, but it's definitely not a fluid overtake. And uh, yeah, it creates this weird problem like as a driver, because I kind of feel bad. Nah, I don't feel bad, but it's kind of immersion breaking to, you know, be overtaking under blue flags consistently, but it's like, I'm not gonna hold up my pace. I'm not gonna ruin my race because the AI can't accelerate away from an overtake. Uh, of course, I want to get to the front of the field and it shouldn't be, my job as the player uh, to sort of work around the awkward overtakes of the AI. So that's kind of my thoughts on that. That's how I'm excusing my behavior today. <laughs> but uh, yeah, in all seriousness, I, I hope Reza is uh, able to work on the AI and get those blue flag overtakes a little bit more fluid because uh, yeah, it's been a wonderfully enjoyable race. I'm loving the feeling of this uh, Cadillac hypercar. Uh, but just the same, you do get pulled back to reality that, uh, well, okay, I don't know where I was going with that, but it just does hinder the uh, emerge in a bit when you got to uh, think about utilizing awkward AI overtakes as part of your race strategy. I know that was a lot of words to say very little, but hopefully you understand my point. But uh, Reza has been amazing for their updates over the past, what, three years now? Are we three years into Automobilista 2? And uh, yeah, so I'm sure we'll get on top of it. Especially when we uh, get the IMSA content. Well, we already have some IMSA content, but uh, more official IMSA content. Can't wait for that. That's going to be incredible. But uh, yeah, blue flags will be a major part of the IMSA experience, so hopefully they get things resolved. And while I've been saying this, the AI is pulling to the second place AI is pulling slightly closer. Nah, it's dropped back. Never mind. So I don't expect there will be any threats between now and the end of the race. So I don't have to... Whoa! I was going to say, I don't have to really force any overtakes. But then I forced the guy off the road in the process of overtaking. So, what am I even talking about? And very long shadows here. We're not going to finish in the dark, but uh, it's going to be very late in the afternoon. He's on your right. Okay, you're good. All right, just five minutes to go now in this hour-long race. 
think it might be this plus two more, or will I need three more laps? We'll see. As you guys know, if you've watched my content, I am terrible at race math. I try to work it out with clocks and laps, and I just cannot do it. My brain just kind of shuts off, and I just drive until it's time to stop driving. Until I see that white flag or checkered flag, that's when I know to stop driving. I can't work it out in my mind. Oh, look at that. Big chunk of hypercar left on the track. Yeah, so it will be uh, this lap plus two more because I crossed the finish line with about four minutes to go. Another chunk of a car. Be interesting to catch up to whoever's dropping all those pieces. It's going to be a monocoque driving around somewhere. And there we go, that's Neves into the pit. That must have been who dropped all the pieces. Neves, I don't like your odds of winning at this point, buddy. Neves is gonna have to get parts shipped in from the factory. Even Amazon can help him win this race. Look out, BMW. One on your right. Okay, you're clear. All right, my uh, lap math was correct. So this lap plus two more. So we're now entering the penultimate lap. And uh, look at that gap to the car behind, <laughs> almost 15 seconds. So I am far better at navigating through traffic than is the AI, but I think we knew that already. Again, it's not the best way to complete an overtake when the AI is struggling to get by a slower car, but at the same time, I just, is it my job to wait? I don't know. Yeah. Looks good to see all those ones at the top right hand side of your screen. So yeah, lap 37 will be the final. So I'm reasonably happy with my consistency here. Certainly not setting the world alight with my pace, but that's fine. Did what I needed to do to get the job done. Again, AI set to 100, so I'm pretty happy to get that. I know a lot of dudes run like 110, one, is there a 120? Anyway, I know a lot of people run much higher AI than I do, but uh, just doing my best, man. I don't always run 100 either. Especially for content creation, I try to turn it down a bit. Um, you know, I can, I'm sure, run 105, maybe 110 at certain tracks, but uh, I generally run it a bit lower. Reason being is it tends to make for better content. You know, <laughs> as a content creator, you don't want to be keeping pace with the AI. That's a pretty boring race. Uh, overtakes are kind of visually appealing when you're watching a video. I know I'm not the only content creator that utilizes that strategy. All right. So I can officially relax now. Fewer than a dozen or roughly a dozen corners to go. And then I will get that checkered flag and be a victor here at Imola. So overall, Highly satisfied uh, with this experience. The AI needs some pretty serious work 
I would say, uh, for blue flag behavior. Uh, but otherwise, there's been great racing, and uh, yeah, Imola looks beautiful. Come on, Manti. Yeah, Imola looks beautiful. Uh, this Cadillac drives, sounds, looks fantastic. So I'm happy. It was a good experience. All right, let me know what you're driving in Automobile Lista 2. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And I started my exit speech too early. Now, okay, let me know what you guys are racing in Automobile Lista 2. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.